In this video, you are going to learn how to visualize a data set and utilize important variables for a successful visualization in Tableau. Translation. I'm going to show you how to take a bunch of numbers and make them look pretty on a graph. These are the exact same steps I use whenever I want to create powerful stories from within data. So if you want to know how to take that data and create powerful visualizations that tell a story, this video is for you. As a data scientist, you will be giving a lot of presentations in front of non-technical audiences. So being able to code, understanding and working with statistics and creating predictions will not be enough to get you that desired data science position. Apart from being a coding wizard, you will also need to be able to present your findings in an easy and understandable way. In the world of big data, data visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI are a must to analyze massive amounts of information and create data-driven decisions. Tableau is an interactive data visualization software which is very user-friendly and helps create congruent dashboards. These tools are a fantastic resource because people can see a bunch of code and their eyes glaze over, but show them a picture and the human mind is incredibly visually intuitive. If you create the right dashboards, charts, and maps that illustrate the answer to your client's problems, they have a better chance at comprehending your solutions. So let's get into a real world example so you can see what I mean. Today we have a big data set on data leaks over a period of time. Exciting, right? During this session, I'm actually going to show you how to create the best visualization dashboards from your data. We are going to use patterns and colors that visually show the story of the data and highlight the useful information for data-driven decisions. Okay, let's go. The goal of this project is to find out how much information has been leaked over the past 10 years, by which means, and what are the industries that were most affected. For this project, I'm actually going to be using Tableau. So let's check it out together. So I have just opened the Tableau software and this is what it looks like. And you will see it's such an easy to work with software for visualizations. And you can see here on the left side that we have types of data we can upload in order to visualize. But this time for this exercise, I'm going to be uploading a Microsoft Excel sheet. And our data is on data breaches, so data leaks over a period of time. And here you can see what the data looks like actually. So you can see there's many columns. We have entity, so the name of the company that leaked the data. And we have the story, how it happened, the year the data was leaked, uh, how many records, and which sector it has been leaked, and the method of leaks. The first thing you need to do after you have uploaded your data you need to go to your worksheet. So we click on sheet number one. This is what the actual worksheet looks like. Here you're going to be doing your visualization and here you're going to be plugging in the rows and columns of data that you want. Here on the left side, if you take a look, we have the tables, which are actually categorical variables, which means that we have mostly uh, sentences or names and strings. So this part here is going to be plotted against this part here, which are numerical values. So the year, the worksheet count, and the measure values. Everything you see here is gonna be plotted against these numerical values. So let's go ahead and create our first visualization. For this particular visualization, I want to find out how many records have been leaked in each sector. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna take out the sector, and we're gonna put it in the columns here. So we have quite a few. We have academia, app, energy, financial, gaming, and so on, healthcare, legal. There we go. So we took that and put it in the columns. And now we're gonna take records lost. I'm gonna put it in the rows, but this doesn't really look like anything. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you a trick. We click on this and we go to measure and the count.
There we go, it looks easier to read. And from a first glance, I can see that the web sector has the most leaked information. But I don't think this is enough, so let me try to show you a different way of visualizing this. Let's make this visualization a little more interesting to look at. I want to make each one of the bars a different color. And we're gonna do that by dragging sector here into the color column. And then I'm gonna take sector again and put it right here. And you can see that now it's clear that the web sector has the most data leaks. Let's leave it like that for now. You can see all of the colors here used for all the sectors. There we go. Let's create another visualization for this data set. So we go down here and we do a new worksheet. For the second visualization, I would like to find out how many records have been lost in each year. And we do it the following way. So we go ahead, we take the year and we put it in the columns. You can see we have here from 2004 to 2017. We take again the records lost and place that into the row column. And then again, it doesn't really show much. So what I'm gonna do right now, go to measure and do a count. And there we go. We see that we have a peak here in 2011 and another one in 2016. The rest is increasing until 2008 and then it has a slowdown in 2009, then it peaks again in 2011. So you can see this would be a very interesting visualization to have in our dashboard. So we're gonna save this one and move on to the third visualization. Here I actually want to find out how many records have been lost in each year by each sector. So let's go ahead and do that. This one is a little bit more complicated, but you will see it's gonna be a very beautiful visualization. So we said that we want to find out in each year. So we take the year and drag it in the columns. We see the same years over here. And then we're gonna drag records lost into the rows section. We have the same thing that happened last time. So we're gonna actually do a count. This looks exactly the same as the last visualization, but I want to add the sectors. So we're gonna drag the sector again in the row section and we're actually gonna do a count again. Okay, so we can see that this has the count of sector and this is the count of records lost. But I don't want it to look like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag in the measure names and the color. So we can see that we have here a count of sector which is showed with orange and then a count of record lost here on the right side which is shown in blue. But I'm not really happy with this visualization and I'm going to show you right now how we can use different types of visualizations. So I'm going to go right here on the right side and show me and here we can see different types. So you can choose this type of visualization here. You can do that, which is pretty interesting as well. And you can see here that in 2016 and 2011 and in 2013, we have the most records lost. But I actually want to use another one and I'm gonna pick this. There we go. Let's take this back. And you can see here, it's making it much easier for us to figure out how many records have been lost or have been leaked in each sector. So let's save this chart and I'm gonna actually create another visualization for you. So we go to new worksheet again. There we go. We're back at square one, but we have them saved, all the visualizations here. If you click sheet one, sheet two, three, and now we're at four. Moving on to visualization number four, here I actually want to see how many records have been lost by each method of leaks. So we have method of leak, drag it into the rows, and we have here accidentally published, hacked, inside job, lost or stolen device, and poor security. Now these are the methods of leaks, but we want to see how many records have been lost through each method. So we're gonna take the records lost, I'm gonna drag it into the column side. And again, it doesn't really look like much, but when we go here and we do a count, so we can easily see that the most popular method of leak is the hacked one. And then the second popular one is the lost or stolen device. And then we have an inside job. 
All right, this is very good to keep in mind. Again, if you want to play with colors, you're more than welcome to just drag one of these columns here in the column section. And you can play with size, the labels, which is if you want to have the names of them. But right now for this particular visualization, I don't think it's necessary. And here again, you can actually choose different types. But I actually like this one for our dashboard. Now let's move on to the fifth visualization. This time I actually want to find out how many records have been leaked by each entity. So by each company that had data leaked. So what I'm gonna do right now is create a new worksheet. We're back here. So now we're gonna grab entity and drag it into the row section. So we have here all the companies that had leaked data, which is quite a lot and then records lost, I'm gonna drag it into the column section. And I'm going to give it a count. All right, so here we have all the entities, so all the companies that had leaked data, and you can see that some of them really stick out. Of course, if you don't want to see all the companies because there's quite a few in here, what you can do is actually take the entity part and drag it into the filter here. And it's gonna give you options to click off. So for example, I don't want these, so I'm just gonna click them away. I'm gonna apply. And you can see that we already had some changes here. So yeah, this is how you actually filter out the data that you don't want in your visualization if you need to. So now that we have actually finished our visualizations, let's move ahead and create a cool and powerful dashboard. And we do that by clicking here and it says new dashboard. This is what the dashboard looks like. So there's nothing there yet. But if you look on the left side, you can see the visualizations you have done previously. So you have the charts and the maps over here. So you have sheet number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now let's move ahead and drag them. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take and drag sheet number one. And you can see this is what it looked like, but I don't want this. So I'm just gonna click it away, remove from dashboard. And now we can see that it takes the entire space. So I don't want that. Then I'm gonna click right here. What I want to do is to have multiple visualizations into one dashboard. So this taking the entire space, we don't want it. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do more options and we're gonna create floating. There we go. And now you can make it as big as you want and place it wherever you want on the page. So for example, I want it over there and I'm gonna take sheet number two and drag it in there as well. Now again, I don't want this to take the entire space. So I'm gonna do floating again. And now we can move this somewhere else on the page. One more thing, you can see here that it shows sheet number one and sheet number two. We don't want that into a dashboard. So what I'm gonna do right now, unless you rename them, of course. So I'm gonna click off the name. It makes it cleaner and more beautiful. So title, we clicked it off. Now let's add it right here and let's make it a little bigger. And now let's move this and make that the same size, just so it's easier to read. So this is what the first dashboard actually looks like. You can, of course, add more visualizations, but for the sake of uh, visibility and readability, I just chose two. So we have here the count of record loss by each sector. You can easily see that the web sector had the most record lost you know, during that period of time. And here you have a timeline of when the records that have been leaked peaked. So we have here a peak in 2011, just down here, and a peak in 2016. So this being the first dashboard, I'm just gonna create another one just to give you an idea. So new dashboard, we've used the first two. So now let's use sheet number three. I'm gonna drag it in there. I actually don't want this part. So I'm just clicked it and I'm gonna delete it. And now I'm just gonna click this visualization 
more options. I'm going to take away the title or you can still have the title, but make it more specific to your case or what you're trying to show. And then I'm going to do floating. And let's make this a little bit bigger and I'm going to move it right there. And now let's see which one do we want? Yeah, we want this as well. This is very important and we want to do floating again. And again, title. Just going to drag this a little bit so we have a better understanding of what's going on. And there you go. Here you have another dashboard where the count of records lost. So the count of records that have been leaked and the method of leak and the count of records lost in each year. So you have a basic idea of what's going on. So of course, after you're done with all of your visualizations, what you can do is save your dashboards into a link and people can go ahead and click through them. So this is what makes Tableau so cool. It's a very interactive visualization tool. So you can just click and interact with the data and actually pick and choose whatever you feel like and whatever it's relevant for your question. Our exercise today can be used as an example for data security companies that want to find out what are the weakest points inside of a company and what are the markets that have the greatest room for improvement. So I hope this clarified some of your questions in regards to data visualization. This was just a quick basic tutorial to get you started in creating cool and powerful dashboards from your data. So when you go ahead and start visualizing your data, keep in mind that you will need to present your findings to your client to help them understand the answer to the question they first came up to you with. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.